I got home at about 8.45, knocked on Troy's door, and he mumbled something. I told him to get up, and he said to get up in a bit. It is now 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and he is still not up. No, nah, just kidding. It's not even 9 o'clock yet, and he's getting ready. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Yeah, so, I mean, he, he was right. I was up late again this morning, 6.30. It's 9.08 right now by the clock on the computation confuser device. This is what I was able to do um, last night. I went and took the graphic and removed the 2011 that used to be down here in the lower right-hand corner because I'm trying to get shot glasses. <coughs> this year, they're going to be printed in red with red on the bottom. So it's going to be kind of like uh, um, <coughs> collect all of them limited edition Hellmouth shot glasses. You can get this shot glass. It's down in the description. Um, there's only a handful left and once we go to the West Coast Hunters Convention um, they'll probably be gone. So this is purple on the base and it's frosted and it's got the Hellmouth there and then on the back Really, bro? Really? <laughs> I know, 9 o'clock in the morning, I'm already doing it. I know. I'm on the back, it's got the website address on it. So that's really cool. But this year, they're going to be printed in red. The other thing I went is I went to edcals.com and uh, did this right here. I'm not sure we're going to be able to sell the banner um, just because my cost on them for 10 of them is $75. They are $7.50 each and they will have to be shipped special because you can't fold them so they cannot be shipped flat they have to be shipped kind of like rolled up so that so, still kind of working on that and i am also working on oh, puppies no i'm not working on puppies Aww. i'm working on bumper stickers Aww. I so like the puppies are idea better <laughs> keith likes puppies so on the way to city hall we stopped and got coffee and it was really awesome Keith got noticed. She knew who I was from the vlogs, and it's kind of weird. <laughs> She's like, wait, you're on the vlogs. I'm like, huh, huh, put up. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> so He was feeling kind of bashful. Come on, it doesn't help that I worked all night, too. Well, I know, but you got noticed, dude. That is so awesome. It's weird, honestly. I mean, it's not being out in, like some other place and getting noticed which would mean a lot more because you know I kind of know her but yeah still cool just the same so we're at City Hall now so, Shh. so for the second time after we got done talking to the city keep says my head hurts <laughs> oh my gosh so parking is a major concern and we already knew that um, we'd have to uh, I'm confused on where to even start Basically, we need help. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of it. But this time, like, I noticed they were talking about getting an architect in there and everything like that. So I don't know if now they're like, okay, these guys are really serious because they won't leave us alone. <laughs> or they're just like, now we're going to send them on a wild goose chase so we leave them or so they leave us alone. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. So, did yeah. They, did they say anything about that last time getting an architect? No, they didn't say anything last time about getting an architect. So now, basically what has to happen is we need to get an architect because it is going to be a class A occupancy, so we have to go through and make sure everything's up to code, even as being listed as a storage company, which seemed to be okay with them, and then we just do a temporary use for uh, the haunted house, and it would be, what they say, an amusement attraction, Yeah. which the it's also zoned for, it's allowed. Um, yeah. But, also, let's see, hold on, there's the, the architect, then also... Parking agreements, oh, going out and getting, or attempting to get the temporary use permit first before we do anything, just so, so that we have it, or that we know that we can get it. Because it sucks if we go through everything and it's like, uh, no, you guys can't do that. Um, there are going to have to be parking agreements with 
some of the surrounding properties. If we do that property. If we, well, yeah, if we do that property, but no matter what. But now that property doesn't seem so good. Uh, yeah. Cause, sorry, I didn't mean to steal your thunder. Go oh, ahead. no, no, I'm, I'm all scatterbrained and I'm, I'm, I've got a headache too. Yeah. But like, they were telling us in their guys that like, this guy is, you know, same, same thing as the last place. Um, he's done a lot of structural work, I guess. Basically, he's made it look better, but he hasn't done any really co any real code work to it to bring it up to code. So we'd have to go through, anyways, <coughs> and with you know, with an architect to start with. Yeah, with an architect to start with, and then we're gonna have to go through anyways, and more electrical, we'll do the electrical and plumbing, and so on and so forth, and more and more and more stuff. And it's like, can't we just buy a haunted house already? <laughs> Forget this, just buy one. So, but I don't know. Um, to me, regardless what we do, I think we've really got our work cut out for us. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, mean, it goes much, back to what I was saying before. For everything that we see, there's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add. I want to say that there's two things that we don't see. Now there's like four or five things that we don't see. There's like a million things we're not seeing right now. <laughs> so. Next time we come uh, back, they're gonna want a DNA test and everything with this shit. I swear no, to God. Oh yeah. Pee in this what? cup. You want a pee? Yeah, have a, <laughs> say, you want a pee sample? All right. Oh, you want that kind of sample? Give me a couple minutes. <laughs> Keith and I were continuing the conversation. What kind of sucks is they also want a floor plan, like before we do anything. So we basically have to design the haunt before we do anything. Which I want to say before he says anything else, I have no problem with because then I can get something on paper about what we're doing. <laughs> the nice thing about it though is that we can apply for the temporary use at any time. Yes. Which makes it easier. So right after the haunt, we go through a major redesign right away, get the temporary use in to make sure that's okay, and then we start building. But in order to get there, we need to get this first hurdle first. And this first hurdle, it, it's not a rock in the road. It's not a speed bump. It's not a mole hill. It's a freaking mountain. It's a mountain. freaking mountain. <laughs> I'm talking about the damn Himalayas right now. Everest. Mount Everest. Yeah. Everest. I will climb the mountain. I will. It's okay, bro. We'll come out on top. I got my tax return, and I never spend any money on me. So, I did today. Hold on. I got the Prisoner of Azkaban. I got the Goblet of Fire. I got the Chamber of Secrets. Because the ex-wife took all of my Harry Potter stuff. is actually hers. That's why she took it. But I also got Insidious and Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, which I've never seen Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. So I got some movie watching to do. And I found this freaking awesome t-shirt. That's just like badass. It don't fit Keith. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't. But that is just so cool. Saw it, had to have it. So that was an impulse while all this stuff was impulsed by. <laughs> and Keith <laughs> keeps moving it. It's like, I need to work. You guys may be wondering, what has Troy been doing since Keith has been working on his box? Not a goddamn thing. Oh, whatever. I just got through replacing the window, finally. That broke on January 1st. Well, actually, no, it was the last day of December, just before New Year's. So I was pulling the fireworks out, and one of the platforms that I had the fireworks on tapped the glass and broke it. He's pre drilling. How awesome is that? I hate pre drilling. I hate staples. I hate plastic. Isn't it funny? I hate everything about haunting, except what? haunting. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, after today, the headache of all the stuff that happens behind the scenes. Ugh, my head still hurts. I came home and relaxed by building a box. <laughs> <laughs> Letting out your aggressions. <laughs> Not that it deters us any. It, well, I'm. Man. It, it just, it, there's just a lot into it. It's not going to stop us or whatever, so don't think that. But it's just like, there's just a lot of crap. A lot of freaking red tape. Okay, I want to stop because this is going to be a nightmare to edit tonight. Because there's something special coming up tonight. You guys will see it, like, soon. I think I've already said it because we might cancel or preempt COC tonight. 
Because Keith won't be here anyway. He'll be at work. Slacker. Just kidding. You're not a slacker. We just, we, we give each other like crap constantly on camera and off. And I think we've said it before. If we had like all the stuff that we say and joke about all day long on camera, well, number one, <laughs> it wouldn't be totally politically correct. And number uh, two, it would fill up an entire vlog. Or two. Or ten. <laughs> yeah. Zach, Jeremy. Here's another line for your uh, shit haunters say. <laughs> Keith was just telling a story of how he, no, you tell it, it's your story. He had stayed clean this entire time. Stayed clean this entire time because I'm in decent clothes, you know, and. Yeah, nice pants. Decent pants, a decent shirt that's not all stained up, it wasn't at least. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I grabbed the liquid nails and I have it down by my side and I'm walking and next thing I know, I feel a brush against my jeans and I'm like, Oh shit, that's my pants. I knew I should have changed into my damn bad clothes. Why did I wear my decent clothes to work? So, on, on, on that note, shit hunters say, I knew I should have changed out of my good clothes. <laughs> the box is just about finished. We need to cut in on the other side. I, 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 I could have walked over there. We need to cut in the window and put the bars in, but pretty much that is the finished product of what the box is gonna look like, or the crate, whatever you wanna call it. How's that again? <laughs> look guys, look guys, I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so I decided that I had to do something on the man-eating plant today, um, even though I'm like dog-ass tired, and I'm gonna go and take a nap after these two are done, because I'm beat. Look at this, if you guys want perfect freaking circles, this is what you do. You measure from the very center, well, hold on. You take, you guys can figure this out. I don't even need to tell you. You've already seen what I've done. Take the full width of the circle, divide it by two, drill a pilot hole in your one piece of wood, and then draw the pen hole in the other one. Always go center to center of what you want. And then you put the pen in it, put a screw in it, and go around in circles, and you can draw a perfect freaking circle. But of course, you guys already knew that, so I just thought it was smart in my sleep deprivated mind. The circles have been cut, and this is basically what happens. With enough room in the bottom, this one here will sit in there so that there's enough room in the bottom to do stuff. PVC goes through the bottom of this. This is part of the stabilization. This is the second part of the stabilization for the PVC and it goes like this. So the PVC will go through this piece. Uh, these two pieces will get attached by two two by fours that are just gonna run you know, from one piece to the other. There's gonna be two of them. Uh, yeah, so I'll probably handle that tomorrow. All right guys, my apologies on a couple different things. Uh, number one, I told you that there's gonna be this like really kind of cool thing at the end of the vlog today. I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow, possibly next week. It just really depends. Um, I will say this, go and get your tickets for West Coast Haunters Convention. Do it now. It is the only one of its type on the West Coast. And you don't have to live on the West Coast to go here. Everybody travels, you know, east to go to the conventions over there and then, you know, Midwest and whatnot. Come here. June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, Portland, Oregon. It's awesome. And what I really liked about it last year is that there was this extreme feeling of closeness, of home. Everybody seemed like really connected. It didn't seem like huge and commercialized yet. So come on down. Come join us. I mean, Zach and Jeremy are going to be there from the Bloodshed Brothers. I'm going to be there. Leonard Pickle is going to be there. Really awesome stuff going on. Lots of classes to learn different things. Um, if you guys, uh, if I remember, I'll try to do it. A uh, trade show. Uh, there's more vendors this year than last year. Um, and I did a video last year, a trade show floor video of all the vendors. Um, if I, like I just said, if I remember, I'll annotate it. Um, on the other flip side of everything, Keith and I did visit the property today, and we went through. It's just too much to vlog. I, I like I said, I don't want a half hour vlog. Um, I, I try to keep it. I used to tr try to keep it like to like 12 minutes, and 
now I try to keep it under 20. So let's do uh, subscriber shout outs really quick. I am going to do COC tonight so that we don't get backlogged. And then whatever tomorrow brings, I'll go through and show the property tomorrow. So with no further ado, uh, Pops the Clown, BLK09 GTI, and welcome back to Dark Side Haunt 360. Hmm. And Twisted Terrors ENT Entertainment, I believe. Thank you guys for subscribing. And now, quickly, COC. D double 77, first, LOL. I win, but the Pats lose. Boo. <laughs> yes, they did lose. Uh, Lori Lee was also disappointed. Uh, I did catch the last little bit of the game yesterday. Yard Hunter 5, Keith, you're not lame for watching the game. Same here. I hate both teams, but wanted the Giants to win. Keith, I like the box with the up and down planks and the one cross beam the best. We decided to go kind of uh, more modern and just because of money and simplicity, I believe, and structural integrity. And this box is going to shake like crazy, and I don't want planks falling off of it. Um, uh, yes, Steve, that was Jeff's squeak uh, on the chair. So on the the rocking he's talking about the uh, skeleton in the rocking chair the the hellmouth squeak Dioblo 85 use skids skids on what the box hmm joy's a gal scott is always good at fishing, finishing off the job yeah he really is he's a great guy uh troy get your haunted stuff out of your room so keith can get some work done yes i will try uh, we got lots of stuff done today, so I, I'm, I feel good about today. Uh, the Bloodshed Brothers, my hands are softer. Um, Lori Lee's been, uh, you know, doing, uh, she goes to college full time. So, you know, it's just a matter of hooking up and whatnot. JHMDF, haha, I made it the last second for COC. You guys need to move the tools to a neutral location so you won't wake each other up if you want to work on a prop. Yeah, the last thing I need is Keith like standing over my head in bed when I'm sleeping and me waking up and be like, nah. <laughs> just kidding. Calgary, it's addictive to get on the computer and play around with websites and graphics. Luckily, I never get a day off, so it's easier for me to limit myself to 2 a.m. Yeah, well, I'll tell you right now, it's 3.37 a.m. when I'm uh, cutting this COC. And I have to be at work at 9, but I got a couple, I, I took a cat nap. So my schedule's like all screwy right now. The only comment that I have for the monster in the box is if you're sticking with the reels real idea, then the rebar should be framed in. If the monster can punch through the box, what's the point of putting rebar over the hole? Just my thoughts. Um, Keith and I talked about that. We're not going to use rebar. We are, we are going to spring for actual, just regular steel rod. And it's going to be on the inside of the box. So, from the hole, it's going to look like, you know, you're not going to be able to tell whether it goes up and down, you know, the hole inside of the box or not. Debit353 just purchased two Saturday passes for West Coast Haunters Convention. Awesome, dude. Can't wait to meet you. Um, everybody needs to go and get their tickets. They need to do it now. Uh, you know, like I said yesterday, rooms are filling up. And I want to meet everybody. Like I said a little while ago, it's just going to be really awesome. Ed Roberts. And I are going to talk, uh, Zach and Jeremy talked to him today, uh, but we're going to have like a phone interview, I believe, possibly next week. So you guys watch out for that. ABC Noise 2. Keith, you may feel better, but you still sound like you need to take care of yourself. Woohoo, West Coast Honors Convention. Yes. Um, abs well, not absolutely, but yeah, yes. Um, we both need to take care of ourselves. Um, sleep deprivation really sucks. I haven't had any visions, though. Well, at least not yet. Crazy Man Living, I have the perfect idea for an outro. Awesome. Do it, cut the video, put it on your YouTube channel, give me the link in private, mark the video as private, send me the link, and I will let you know when I have ripped it from your channel so that I can use it as an outro. And I want everybody to do it. It'd be good advertising for your own channels. So make it funny, make it less than 10 seconds, Probably like five to seven, and uh, no copyrighted stuff on it. Happy haunting. See you tomorrow. That's some bad hat, Harry. <laughs>